Mike and Nathan here from the Off Grid Shop. Today we're talking about solar panels. We have questions asked all the time, what's the best solar panel to put on your roof? And we're going to explain the difference between these panels and what's going to be the best for you in the situation. So, cool. And Nathan, let's get started. Righto, so the first panel we got here is an RSE panel. So what can you tell us about this? What technology does this panel use? It's a 120 cell half cut cell. So if you actually have a look here at the sun power here, that it's a full cell, where this one here they've actually cut it in half, and REC call it their twin peak. So basically it's twin peaks, so it's two panels, so one panel up the top, one panel down the bottom. Alright, so this next panel here, what's the difference between this one and that one? So the biggest failure rate in solar panels is if you have a look at all these little lines on the front, they're all little solders. And that's actually the biggest failure rate over the years with solar panels. Now, REC have one of the lowest failure rates in the world. If I was going to put that sort of panel on my house again, I'd be going with the REC. And that's what fails is all these little solders here. Over time, especially in Australia, get hot and cold, hot and cold, and they just snap and your panel's toast pretty much. Rip it off and get a new one. Now, with these SunPower Maxim panels, they're actually made completely different to any other panel on the market. The SunPower cell actually has a full copper backing on the back of it, and as you can see on the front of this, you can't actually see any little wires on the front because it's all on the back of the panel, it's all hidden. And they actually use like a copper stitch, so it's a lot more than just one little solder. Um, it looks like a little infinity sign like three or four times over and over. And yeah, so these panels are made completely different to any other panel on the market. It's patented technology. These panels are actually flexible. So you see on motorhomes and caravans and stuff like that, everyone uses the sun power cells because they actually can be flexed, where a lot of these other panels can't be. So that's the maximum technology. So there's a lot less chance for a solder to crack in that because it's actually, it's not solder, it's connected by the copper in the back? Yeah, so these have like, you know, we'll call it a copper stitch on the back. Okay. Uh, so it's like stitched up with copper and like I said, yeah, it looks like a little infinity sign, you know, that figure eight around yeah, yep. a few times. Um, on the back of the panel, so it's just not one little line. And that's another thing, you know, from efficiency point of view, it's another question we ask all the time, people were really down to efficiency. Now, efficiency is not always the best thing to worry about. If you've got a big farm shed and loads of space, who cares? If you're in the city, in a town, you've got limited roof space, you're going to be wanting to look at the sun powers or the REC alphas, which is another whole video, because the sun power are more efficient. So if you look at these two panels, this is a REC's more entry level panel, and that is literally a 325 watt panel, is that right? Uh, this one's 350, I believe. Okay, so it's a 350 watt panel, and this is a 400 watt panel. And actually, have a look that this panel's shorter. It is the same width, but this panel's shorter, so that's what the efficiency means. That's a 400 watt, that's 350, you get more for the same size space. Cool. So this one would still be half cut as well, then down the middle? No. So with the sun power, how they work, they actually use bypass diodes. So pretty much every third of the panel, so literally if this part of the panel gets shaded, you're still losing a third of the panel. That's how the sun power works. They use bypass diodes. REC have bypass diodes as well. Uh, but the sun power panels, if you think about it, I like to think about it in thirds is pretty much how they work from a shading point of view. Okay, awesome. So this one here, this uh, big sun power. Yeah, so this is a sun power commercial panel. And these are made different um, in the fact that they work different. So if you think about on a commercial roof, like these panels here as an example, the shading in these ones because they're made for residential, on most residential roofs, the shading works up from the bottom. The way these shingle cell work, but what they've done, they take this solar cell and they just cut it up into loads of little strips, as you can see down here. They put them together, um, and each one of these is pretty much its own string. And so the way these are, these are actually designed to be installed because they're commercial panels, they're big, as you can see, they're taller. So this is a 415 watt panel, and this is a 400 watt panel. You see how much bigger this one is compared to the other one? But these are designed to be laid in installed landscape. So they're designed to lay down because they shade from this way up. So the design that when the panels are in front, you put more panels closer. There's a lot of solar farms that have actually done research that's actually better to shade your panels and lose a little bit more efficiency and put more panels up. So, okay. um, and by using panels like this. So these lines here are essentially connecting all the cells in series. Would that be right? Yep. So that's pretty much one cell if you think about it like that. That's another cell. And I know there is a few joints here and there, but just think like that, that's pretty much how it works. Okay, cool. So this is called a shingle type panel. So with SunPower, they make panels completely different to everyone else on the marketplace. That's their thing. Yeah, right. Okay. So we've got the shingle cell, the half cut, and then the SunPower that uses the bypass diodes to avoid the shading problems. 
Yeah, maxing. The, the biggest thing with Sunpower, what makes Sunpower such a really cool panel to last, is that full copper backing sheet on the back of the panel. There's a lot less resistance in the cell. You know, you think about this as a full copper sheet on the back um, for all that current and stuff to flow through, where, you know, these cells, they got strings out of them to get the current out of them, where the Sunpower has a full copper backing on the back of it. Okay, awesome. All right, so for people at home, what would you say to them for making the decision of which panel they should go for? Okay, so the way I like to think about things, look, is it your forever home? Are you going to be there forever? If it is, the, I'd be looking at the Sun Power Maxing panel or the REC Alpha. Now, if it's not your forever home and you know you think you might be there for 10 or 15 years or whatever and you're on a budget or something like that, I'd be looking at more, depending on Sun Power, these commercial type panels, if you had a big large farm shed roof and stuff like that, you can get away using the big commercial panels or, you know, the REC Twin Peaks. If you get a lot of shading and things like that, I'd be going more towards the REC with some optimizers and, and stuff like that. So it would all really depend on your situation and what's going to be the best for your application. Okay, awesome. Cool. Well, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful. Any questions or comments, put down below on the video here and we can have the conversation there. Thanks and have a great day.